pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Here. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. That is complete nonsense. And yet, I am going to forgive you for losing my book. I can't even explain why. I just have this sudden, inexplicable urge to forgive. You'd better not be up to something. Just uh, don't lose the frog, okay? No. I'll keep it with me always. Well, I've come for a recipe, a dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? Barbie LaFlay catered that event. I own her cookbook, but I don't know any of the recipes. Do you know where I can find Barbie LaFlay? 
middle of the Atlantic Ocean? She's halfway back to France by now. Remind me what you said about the recipe I asked for? I said I didn't make the food, but I've got the cookbook. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there! I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. This will be excellent! Here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Huh, never seen one of those before. museum is gone. So is the cable to his island. It's just as well, given the worldwide rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shortage. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean, or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. 
feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. It's locked. How on earth do you have that note? Oh yeah, that's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind, it's not important. I guess I lost my way. Little prick the kids. Hey, little fella. It's like there's a welcoming committee. Wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. It's probably time for them to fly. I'll take a shortcut back.
snazzy sign. Well, he's done well for. I made him up. Seems to be stuck closed. There's some very tiny writing on it. Numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. There's some very tiny writing on it. The display case is locked. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney. The Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Numbers are a little clearer, but still. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. If one monocle is good, two is better. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps.
Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Looking good. I like things neat. That is a really big... That's folded perfectly. That'll do, Parrot. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Welcome back. I checked the display case and it seems fine, so we're open for business again. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. Do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? your stuff I uh, guess it's a dog please take that and throw it away it was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater who is a contemptible pig stay out of my bedroom threepwood I don't really have anything to say I just like doing this practice is nice but I'm busy these days Governor stuff. Look at this baby. Signature model. I made it myself. I'm sure it's great, Threepwood, but I can't give you the swabby job unless you magically turn into somebody else. Uh, I think I should move farther away from the quartermaster first. Classic and subtle. Like me. But I don't need to be wearing this right now. Three 
Creepwood. Are you trying to fool me by wearing an eye patch? That is the worst disguise I've ever seen. No, no, of course not. Just having a little eye trouble. Left for a spasm. Oh, try some cashews. You might be short on magnesium. Or wits. Darn, I thought this thing was supposed to be magic. I must have forgotten something. I better take off this eye patch first. Can you fix this? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. One moment. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Ah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? John Laney was especially known for impersonating monsters of various types. You failed to mention that earlier. It's not a strong part of the sales pitch. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. How do you like my mop? It's custom built. Let's see, stick, tangle a boat line. <sniffs> Smells like seagull droppings. Wait a minute. I've seen this mop before. Where did you get it? I stole it from a pirate. Oh, LeChuck will like that. I happen to need a swabby. You interested? Definitely. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Chuck ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. 
The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab, and I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The hull is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But, no! Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Uh, what if I need to, um, you know? Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I ate an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh, uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo, ho, yo, ho, pirate's life for me. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Oi, you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new- Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Close enough. Close enough. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Going somewhere, Swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to Mobbin. I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choice. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. 
I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Close enough. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Better. Missed a spot. Oh, nuts. The grease helps a little. The grease helps a little. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Uh. Almost. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. It's working. I can't see anything. That's a big rudder. This one doesn't open. This one doesn't open. I can't see anything. It looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. This is a bunch blah, of empty containers blah. of monkey blood and squid ink. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. Yeah. The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, Obviously, we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? It doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. 
also cinnamon, mint, and brimstone, and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. We met about an hour ago. While well, Iron Rose was introducing me around. I'm the new Swabby. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem! Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so! Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then! Meeting adjourned. We'll finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. That was fun, but it would be even better if the cannons loaded with something. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this girl. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. There's nothing you need up there. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. not a good time to attract the tent. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Well, I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mo I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Toasty. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. Ha ha! You're out and about! That is one revoltingly greasy portal. That's a big rudder. Thank you. 
is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agent. Aha! You're out and about! <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? No, but I'm a big fan. Ah, my reputation precedes me, like the locusts before the storm. Locusts? But I will sign no autographs. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. Hey. That is one revoltingly greasy. Ah. I have a skull. Should I put it in the pot? Only if it's a flat one. Oh, yeah. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Hmm, I wonder what's for dinner. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... I... <gasps> <laughs> I, 
I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But, as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! It's empty now. What's that? Plundering prospects. Ah, uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. <laughs> that looks like a permanent stain. Ew, smells worse than it looks. Hey, Pop, have you got any ideas on how to get to Monkey Island that don't involve a voodoo potion? My mind's a blank. I try to keep it that way if possible. You wouldn't happen to have a magic voodoo concoction in here that will get us to Monkey Island, would you? No. And like Rose said, we used up most of the supplies, so there's no way we're brewing another one. Okay. Just checking. I'll find a different way. Yeah. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It's demon pepper made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. That's held shut with a pretty sturdy piece of timber. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. I'm working on a way for us to get to Monkey Island without using a voodoo potion. Glad to hear it. I'm working on something else. Great meeting. See you later. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Swabby is fine. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... 
don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. It's Captain Madison. Ready the cannons. Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint. Squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. Those double-crossing thieves. That's piracy. Well, I'm not sure what else you were expecting under the circumstances. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull. We don't need a potion because they have one. What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. idea for how we can get to Monkey Island after all. Does Iron Rose know you're working on that? Instead of swabbing things that need swabbing? Not yet, but I'm on my way to tell her. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island after all. Good for you, Swabby. You should take that straight to the top. The Chuck. Of course not. I mean Iron Rose. Right. Good thinking. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. Why wouldn't you want to go to Monkey Island? The better question is why would we want to go? There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three -pod. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. 
Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Sea shanties? Well, no. Clog dancing? Hmm, not so much. Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Aha! We'll see what I can find. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Sounds good. Exquisitely painful, yes. How do you make Scorched Alaska? I don't. I have someone else make it. Uh, professional if possible. There are safety concerns. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. About your vote? It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. But hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You want me to scratch your back? <sighs> Figure of speech. No need to burn yourself. Do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. Keep up the bad work. Always. So, Putra. Chef, Putra. Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? 
Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I wasn't aware there was a difference. That's because you're an ignorant clod like everyone else on this ship. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ha! I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you don't want to make a Scorched Alaska? Like I said, Scorched Alaska calls for a chef. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. I'll let you get back to cook. Yeah. Uh, Flair? What? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great! Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it, I'm busy. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly! In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. Through a reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know, that's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. 
It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Can we vote on going to- You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. See if I can make some headway with your promotion. I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island, procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. What do you want, Swabby? Just spitballing here, but Putra really deserves a promotion. She makes a mean eyeball suit. And when I say mean, I do mean that quite literally. Did she put you up to this? Putra has been trying to wrangle a promotion out of me for years. Go tell Putra her plan failed, and to make sure she's at the keel hauling at four. Didn't Guybrush Threepwood get to Monkey Island years ago? Guybrush Threepwood is a fancy pants wearing third rate sailor and a has been pirate! He stole the woman I loved, and I will eat his heart at the gates of hell. Did you really love Elaine, or was it more of a. My patience is wearing thin, Swabby! One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report. Fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping.
He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. That's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. But it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. If I clean off the grip. It's revolting. And it's a slipping hazard. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. Ghost rats. Ugh. Disgraceful. It's like no one 
on this ship has heard of recycling. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Papers waiting for Lich. Shouldn't ye be swabbing? Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. I feel like the supply of paperwork is endless. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. So, Chef. Now that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, not to try to eat it. Because of the demon pepper? Mostly. You've still got a fair amount of your face left. It'd be a shame to melt it off prematurely. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska made to order. Be careful with it, and like I said, don't try to eat it. Thanks. This is a bunch of... I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet, poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so uh, let's just say I'll vote you away. Next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. Working hard? Never. Uh, about your vote. Relax, I'll back your play. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure, I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. <laughs> 